Excuse me. Hi. Hi, I'm looking for a book for Mr. Tilton's book club. Okay, sure. Do you know which one it is? Yes, it is. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <sighs> Gomez, what's up, man? What are you doing math? Dude, there's no C in math. Well, there's gonna be an F, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. What can I help you with? What are you not getting? I'm doing multiplication, I just don't know how to do it. Which one? Four times zero? Yeah, that's gonna be zero. Oh, you're smart, you're Thanks, smart. Man. This might take a while. Let's just get on to this week's Eastside Extra. Good morning, Lions. Welcome back to the activity side of the East Side Extra. It's the beginning of the school year, and there's thousands of clubs and events coming up. We want to make sure you guys are aware at least of some of them. First up is the book club. Hi, Mr. Dodson. Hey. Can you tell me something about the book club going on in your class? Yeah, so any East Side student who likes books is welcome to join us for our book club. We have a different book that we read each month, and then we get together, have some pizza, and discuss the book. We also have a field trip planned for the end of the school year. Um, we are reading a book called War Girls right now, and we're going to meet to discuss that book on Wednesday, September 13th. Um, I do have a couple copies of the book, but uh, mostly if you want a copy of the book, you gotta get it yourself. You can get it from $10, for $10 on Amazon, and then join us on September 13th to talk about it. Make sure you join Good Book Club. Remember, the next meeting is September 13th, so you can always message Mr. Tilton via Remind or visit Room 220. Lunch passes are now available for seniors in the activities office. To receive one of these passes, you must be a senior with at least a semester 3.0 GPA and no major discipline and attendance problems. The applications are due September 1st, and the first day for these lunch privileges will be September 11th. Seniors, it's almost time for your early wake-up call, because Senior Sunrise is on the rise. Wow, what a beautiful sunset. Talking about sunset, senior centers will be on September 1st here at the stadium. And make sure you'll bring your school ID with you or else you're not getting in. Make sure you enjoy this moment because seniors, it's your last year and you've got to make the best of it. Hear that, seniors? Make sure to enjoy the special day of yours to the fullest and don't forget to bring your IDs. Bye, Lions! Hey, Lions, and welcome back to Student Life News. The AHS BSU is looking for new members this year. For anyone interested, be sure to check out the District BSU website for any questions you may have. Make sure to follow the EHS Lines BSU account on Instagram using this QR code. The BSU meetings will be held every Wednesday after school in room 228 from 350 to 450. Students must be active members of the club in order to be able to attend different activities and events this year, such as different field trips. They'll also be electing their new BSU officers in their next meetings, so be sure to attend. Now, let's move on to Jaden with this week's student interviews. Hey Lions, I'm Jaden. Let's go hit the streets of Eastside to ask some questions. Is cereal soup? And why? Uh, cereal's not a soup because it's not soup, it's not hot. No. Yeah, I like to think so. No. And because soup is hot and cereal isn't hot. Nah. No. 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 No, it's not? No. Yeah. And why? Because it has multiple ingredients in one big fat liquid, I guess? I don't know. No. Don't know what that is? Yes. And why? Because it is a mixture of ingredients in a liquid, so technically it's a soup. No, it's not. Yeah. And why? It has it has food, it has water, and like and like you drink and eat both. Why wouldn't it be a soup, bro? It's just a cold soup. Cold soups exist. Like right. is cereal soup? Can I ask can I ask you a question? Do they sell cereal in the soup aisle? No. There's your answer. There you go. 
That's a good point, Mr. Stanford, but what about oatmeal? Thanks, Jaden, and that's all for this week, Lions. Good morning, Lions. It's Giselle here, and welcome back to the Academy side of the East Side Extra. If you're someone interested in pursuing a career in the educational field, then Education Academy is just for you. If you are a freshman, sophomore, or junior, then lucky you, the room is still open for anyone wanting to join. Don't pass on this amazing opportunity. For more questions, please email Mrs. Fisk through the email provided below or stop by room 227 for more information. Now we are glad to announce our very first Den Crashers interview of the school year, where we interviewed the one and only Mr. Gonzalez. Hope you all enjoy it. Hey guys, welcome back to Eastside Extra. This is Den Crashers, my name is Ashley, and welcome to Mr. Gonzalez's classroom. So for those of you guys who enjoy the Eastside Extra, this is the room where everything is put together. We got a ton of storage up here. We got our wall of achievements. We're in the newspaper a few times. We did a football camp for Josh Kelly, a former Eastside uh, Lion. We went to the Air Force Base, did a lot of things with the film classes that have been super fun over the last couple years. And if you look over here, Ashley is hanging out. Um, this is our podcast station. We have a new uh, athletics podcast coming out any day now. So stay on the lookout for that. But this is where we do all of this podcasting over here. We have the podcast uh, equipment on that side. Um, and then if you look a little bit further over here, we have uh, the set where we film the East Side Extra. So we film it every single week. We've done it for going on three years now, um, doing this every single week. And so um, this is where all that takes place. And then my own personal space is my desk area. So as you can see, I have uh, shelves that I built with my bare hands. That's a true story. Um, with a bunch of little things that I use, little plaques that I have, things and achievements. This is really cool. It's over the years, over the last eight years, pictures of kids um, who were in my class, kind of a little memory. Um, I have my mini fridge with my favorite drink in the whole world Costco brand sparkling water. It is the best. If you go this way, I'll show you something else, some other things. We have our wardrobe rack with some famous outfits that you might have seen from the Christmas special. We have our tuxedos we wore at the film festival last year. We have our cap and gown from graduation. Um, so we don't do this all the time, but when we need something, we have it there. That's all we got for you guys this week. So I'll show you guys the way out. This is box tour. Oh. Gonzalez, it's time to film the intro. Let's go. You got it? Anyways, that's all for the Academy side. See y'all next week. Bye! Hey there, Lions. Milo here, and wow, that was a great segment. But now it's time for something even better. Athletics. Varsity football had a great game against Rowland with a winning score of 20 to 6. Let's not forget about volleyball, who had an intense game and fought their hardest to defend the den. Let's take a look at how our fall sports did this past week with our athletic highlights. Last week we uh, executed pretty well. There were still a couple mistakes we need to fix up. Uh, that's a good thing about having another game the following week. We learned from our mistakes. And, but I, overall, I thought we did pretty well. Yeah, like my coach said, we did really good. Um, it's just the little things we got to work on, like getting off the ball faster and um, just watching the ball as well. Uh, there should be no reason why we should lose. They're not as good as us. For this week coming up, um, we got to make sure we take care of ourselves first. Uh, viewpoint, uh, we should get after them right away. If we go ahead and let them uh, stick around the game, they will make it a game. But we got to worry about what we got to do first. As exciting as last week was for everybody to continue supporting our sports teams, here's this week's athletic schedule. Hey man, thanks for the help earlier. How do you know all that stuff? Because I go to tutoring every morning. Yeah, I should do that more often. Yeah, you definitely should. From 7 to 840 every morning, just so you guys don't forget. And afternoons Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 340 to 440. That's all for this week, Lions. We hope you guys stayed safe during the tropical storm of Hurricane Hillary, and we wish you a nice rest of your day. 
Adios. Adios, Lions. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Can we go? Are we going French this year? Yes. Is, it's on the news. Is, do people know what old au news? Is that old news now? <laughs> I don't know. Sure. It does look fine, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks fine. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> I almost like. Maybe just cut to that. Like